Hi, welcome to another escort session. Today we have in our rehearsal place Iki Virge. They came, they played loud, and they kicked ass. Please enjoy Iki Virge. Get 
Mielistyvä persettä! Pomo! Näytä meille! Missä on ihmisen pimeä puoli? Taikka on minen ja orjaa! Kuolella korjaa! Tapuvies publika sen mies! Viimisuhri! Asterilla! Lauri, Mika, Iki Virhe, thank you very much. That was awesome. Our pleasure. Yes. I think th- the first thing I want to ask, uh, Lauri, what happened to you in the Megatoni video? <laughs> And are you okay? Uh. Like, <laughs> because that was... Uh, yeah, uh, it was uh, open heart surgery, but I am okay. But yeah. It was. Uh, it big surgery, but like uh, everything's cool now, so not really a problem. Awesome, awesome. Yes, that video is... You start seeing it, you're like, oh, okay, and then suddenly, <laughs> what the fuck, like, that yeah, escalated I have quickly. Yeah, I keep myself busy there because it gets boring. And then, well, how did you guys get started? 2013, I think it, yes. And uh, autumn, no, we started the band during... Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, we were driving to festival, yeah, and it was a, like a drunken, I don't know, story, but like, uh, then we started practicing and had the first gig pretty soon. And then did we you, like you guys knew each other from like childhood or? Yeah, we are, we've known each other since teenagers or like, and maybe you even like younger. Which festival were you going? Uh, Provincia, I think. Yeah, yeah was, it was who good. Who was playing? There was, I think there was Turbo Negro and Kveler uh, Tak was playing and also Tanchik was playing with. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Okay. I think you have a, like a really unique sound, like this mix of punk and hardcore and maybe even grindcore or like what are your guys' influences? I used to be like a like metal drummer, like uh, for okay. death metal and stuff like that. So maybe I'm I'm from us like the more metal guy. I think we listened to like very much the same bands when we were like like kids or like young and like yeah metal and punk and also like I don't know. Oh, I think all of us have like our own genres we take our influences from and then we mix it together. Yeah. yeah. But hardcore I guess and punk is for all of us like yes. yeah. big thing. Risto, I hope that you like Motorhead, no? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really big surprise if you don't. Yeah. Yes. I think Mika is our like the greatest metal expert. But like, yeah. Yeah, it's basically Motorhead for me. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. And so at the beginning, who did the the videos for Koljonen and Kokomus Nuoret? That would be me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The They were really nice. Yeah, that was my great art project. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I was I was like uh having fun fun with the old animation stuff and like it's really fun to do that stuff. <laughs> And I think your first release was uh, Pima. Yeah. And how did that came together like Like yeah, like it? 2013 Pima came also, like a couple of months after the band like started. Basically when we started the band, we just went to a rehearsal place and started making up songs. And Pima is like, it has all of the like songs we made up when and we started. How did you record them? Uh, we went, to, yeah, Vanta, Vaskivuore, Luke. Uh, we have a connection there, so one guy record. Yeah, it was like one morning, uh, basically like, I don't know, a couple of hours and we were finished. Okay. You have three more releases in 2017, 2018, and the last one, 2021, Sikasu uh, Sunamama. How is your reco recording process has changed? Like from then, do you s are you still in going to Vanta or <laughs> no? Yeah, we've been at our uh, rehearsal place now, and uh, Nika has recorded our all like latest recordings, and it's a very good. Uh, I don't know. We work together well with Nika. Okay. Yeah, and uh, with Sikas and Sunama, I think that was the first time that we didn't like instantly record everything once we had uh, created the song. So we had a bit more time to like play them live and like get some ideas and like polish them more. Yeah. We, had so. two studio we had two studio days then. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> how does a, like a song usually get done with you guys? Like how? It depends. Sometimes like. Uh, Uh, I come with a riff or idea or Ripa comes with a riff and Mika has also like you had a very interesting way of like telling what kind of songs you want. Do you want to tell it? <laughs> yeah, cause I don't know how to play guitar or bass uh, but I have these like ideas in my head like what the riff should sound like so basically I try to uh, listen to some songs that sound like that okay. so yeah, I went to the rehearsal place like uh, play this riff from uh, Britney Spears and like This riff from Isaac Hayes and yeah. started melting them together. So yeah. yeah, yeah, it sounds <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mika's great puzzle. And you, uh, you played uh, Lagio Kung Fu. Could you talk about that song a bit? What is it about? Yeah, it's the second song of song of Sikasio Sunama. It's uh, uh, I don't know. We all like to play it, and it's like. It's often like in the beginnings of the gigs, like to get us like to pss, pss, wake <laughs> up, and uh, uh, yeah, it's about like a, I don't know, system pressure, suburban like uh, basic lifestyle, but also a little bit of about the violent side of 
like life and I don't know these issues. Yeah. But yeah, like a angry song. You played uh, three new songs that are from they're going to be from your new release. Yeah. Uh, when is that album going to be ready? Do you know more or less? Uh, next year we have like sworn to the moon that <laughs> it will happen. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Did you record it also with uh, Nika? Next one, I think definitely. Okay. We haven't talked about ah, you it. You haven't recorded it yet. No, no, it's coming. Ah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, next next okay. year, I think like uh, when we get it done. There's okay. always things and stuff, but like we are now making songs like act okay. like good face uh, you've been together now like 10 plus years 10 years, uh, ten years. Uh, what are some cool moments in this 10 year for each of you personally yeah i like i like like playing gigs and like all that but also everything like like besides the gigs but maybe a good gig memory do you have <laughs> now it came <laughs> yeah yeah at least like uh, this year we uh, played in this um Herman is Gate the like under a bridge. That was a pretty cool moment. And there were a lot of people checking us out and like on top of a skate ramp. Yeah. If for a good gig memory, I would like they like uh, very young, like when we were like maybe during the Pima album or whatever, like in Kalteri Bari in the mall of Kannelmäki. <laughs> and we had that because that wasn't like a gig place. But every time like there was us and like French metal, metal bands and like stuff. And uh, like all the time, like the always the bar run out of beer very quickly, and like because we always told them that like there will be like everybody will be there and like it's gonna be you have to get more like cans and like prepare for the evening. They never did that. I think one like really what the hell moment was like uh, 2017 or something. Uh, there was this uh, Tuska Torstai band competition mm -hmm. where like the winner gets to play in Tuska. And uh, of course, there's like metal bands, but we were there, and okay. somehow we made it to the final. So we were like the only punk band there. Okay, nice. But, yeah, that was kind of cool. Like I don't know, four or five gigs in Lausa, in that competition. Cool. Yeah, that was nice. What are your future plans? Get the second album done, and uh, then of course, like move forward in the trenches. <laughs> Maybe uh, playing somewhere outside of Finland. That would be nice, like maybe Sweden or the Baltics or something. Yes. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, maybe like uh, when we get it done, we were talking about like maybe we make a video, not probably animation anymore, yeah. but yeah, some kind of video and like, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe then we start writing more songs if we like when we have pre pretty often like when we get the. Uh, really is done we already have like several new songs already so like the practices are also like quite i don't know stuff just come up yeah, yeah and i think this year has been really awesome uh, you know the gig wise that uh i'm looking forward to the next year it's been a lot of you know uh rock big stuff and it's yeah. been also like underground punk stuff in the Seina Yoki and it's all uh, really interesting stuff awesome. awesome we like it if you could recommend some like band some like local band and a song if you know a song so we can there's this band called Arresti really like hardcore aggressive stuff and they have this song Toivoton Tapaus yeah. you okay. gotta check it out it's really good shit <laughs> Thank you very much for this. It was awesome. I wish Thank you all you. the best with the new album, with new gigs, and 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 keep kicking ass. We Thank do. You. <laughs> Thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. for Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you can, please go watch Give It Her Life because they really kick ass live. And I left in the description some links uh, to go check out their music or buy some stuff from them. So you know, please go support them. So thanks again and. See you on the next one.